let's discuss about an autoimmune disease that is pernicious anemia this uh, pernicious anemia is mainly due to the auto antibodies are produced against the mucosal lining of the stomach here uh, here the auto antibodies mainly are directed towards the intrinsic factor this intrinsic factor is being secreted by the parietal cells of the stomach and the auto antibodies are produced against the intrinsic factor we all know that for the absorption of the vitamin b12 this intrinsic factor is needed when there is a deficiency of or lack of intrinsic factor is there then the vitamin b12 absorption does not occur which results in the clinical features and let in brief i tell the clinical features like main the patient will develop anemia that is b12 deficiency anemia macrocytic anemia and also the patient also had neurological man patient also developed neurological manifestations as seen glowen stocking deformity as seen and let's look into further details about the clinical features and the investigations which help in the diagnosis of vitamin b12 deficiency that is a pernicious anemia pernicious anemia is one of the causes of vitamin b12 deficiency it is an autoimmune condition that happens when immune system produces antibodies to mucosal lining of stomach these antibodies block a critical protein called intrinsic factor normally the intrinsic factor produced by the parietal cells is required for the absorption of vitamin b12 in this condition as auto antibodies are produced against the intrinsic factor deficiency of intrinsic factor takes place which results in deficiency of the vitamin b12 because of lack of absorption of the vitamin b12 let's see the clinical features or the symptoms presented by these patients nausea bloating and weight loss even diarrhea or constipation nervous system damage causes muscle weakness numbness tingling in their hands and feet memory loss and dementia and this now involvement seen in the form of glowen stocking distribution and palpitations are also experienced by the patient and weakness of uh, weakness and fatigue swollen red tongue and bleeding loss of appetite pale skin poor concentration and irritability hallucinations and delusions even the optic nerve degeneration also can occur that affects the eyesight and these are the clinical features with which the patient presents with and let's look into the investigations which help in the diagnosis and investigations mainly include vitamin b12 level estimation has to be done and complete blood count is useful reticular site count and also lactate dehydrogenase level estimation serum bilirubin levels estimation methyl malonic acid levels estimation and these methyl high levels of methyl malonic acid levels are found in this condition and it is the most important test which help to confirm the diagnosis in this condition we also find high homocysteine levels even the investigation that is upper endoscopy is also useful in the diagnosis of pernicious anemia that uh, which leads to vitamin b12 deficiency clinical features in which the, we find the low levels of vitamin b12 high homocysteine levels and high methyl malonic acid levels and these are all responsible for the neurological manifestations and glowen stocking deformity seen in these patients and the complications when we not treated in these patients are the subacute subacute demyelination syndrome uh, subacute demyelination condition will occur in these patients if it is if the we not treat them in time and the difference between the folic acid deficiency and the vitamin b12 deficiency is that neurological manifestations are seen in case of vitamin b12 deficiency in folic acid deficiency neurological manifestations are not seen and and the complication i has uh, already said it is a subacute degeneration of the spinal cord complication is mainly the subacute degeneration of spinal cord occurs in this patient as complication and the treatment available is the vitamin b12 intramuscular injections has to be given to these patients and the improvement in the symptoms occurs only af- uh, after few weeks of treatment and this is and this is in brief about the conditions pernicious anemia and thank you for watching